at the time that at the time that you're in because you don't like you thinking about it from your age now but at the time that you're in that's love for sure i was in love at 11 we ate together we 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 played outside together things like that and she just moved she went to another state and like you know what i mean that changed that altered my childhood Ooh. what happened with you uh, you know uh, there was this guy from high school uh uh, I don't know, man. You know, she fell in love with her and with him actually. And oh, when oh, they, oh, you scared me for a second. Whoa, 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 yeah, calm yeah. down, Nubby. Ho, ho, ho. Let me breathe. Hold on. Woo, let me get some water. Wait, 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 Nubby. Wait, wait. Oh, shit. Woo. <laughs> <sighs> Nubby, I thought, oh, man, Nubby. Woo. <laughs> oh, shit, Nubby. Oh, I thought you played. Oh. I thought you was on your bullshit, Nubby. All right, what happened, baby? We good. What happened? You know, there was this guy from my high school, you know? And uh, she, she, you know, uh, don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. He's just my, you know, guy friend and stuff like that. So I was like, you know, I was just keeping my trust on her. And, uh, um, but, uh, you know, I saw the red flags, but I ignored it. And after some times, you know, I had can to face we, the truth. Can we talk about this? Can we can we break can we break this down so this doesn't happen again? Yeah, sure, sure. All right, cool. At first, I need you to sit down. That's that's the first thing I need you to because I need you to I need you to take this in. You got to pause. You have to sit down. Yeah. I, need you to, you, I need you to understand what we're talking about, Nubby. Right. The first problem is, right. The first problem is, and we're gonna we're gonna have a serious man conversation. Okay. Yeah. No. The one thing, the first thing that I learned that my grandmother taught me, right, is can't nobody tell you how to feel in life. Nobody, not your mom, not your dad, not your friend, not your cousin, not a woman. Can't nobody tell you how to feel personally. And you can't tell nobody how to feel. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. once somebody tells you don't worry about, that's red flag one. Because whether it's a friendship, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a co you could worry about whatever the fuck you want. Don't ever let nobody tell you how to feel. That was problem one, Nubby. Okay? Yeah. Once she told you, oh, you don't have to worry about. Now I do. Okay? Two, does that situation make you feel any less of a man? Sorry, sorry. Can, can you repeat? Sorry, yeah. I missed that, that one. Can, does this, does that situation make you feel any less of a guy? Like any less of a man? Does it make you feel like you did anything wrong? At some point, in, in the beginning, especially in the beginning, I was like, maybe I'm not like good enough, you know. So that that's why she's just hopping to another person or something like that. I feel like I'm not good enough. I'm I'm not good enough. Okay, so now my thing is good enough to who? To each his own, right? That's one. One is to each his own. Two, what if she wasn't good enough for you? Right? So let's say let's say you have the right moral values, right? Let's say you're responsible. <laughs> let's say you're working. You got like how old are you? I'm twenty one. You haven't even lived the third of your life. You haven't even lived one one fourth of your life. The average American lives to see eighty. Well, I'm sure it's probably might be longer where, where you at, but you should live to see about eighty years if we go. I'm a young dude, man. I'm a young dude. Right. You get what I'm saying? So like this might happen three, four more times, bro. This might happen. But to but to devalue yourself because she left is kind of crazy. <clears throat> you know what? Now I'm fearful of getting into another relationship because As you I think be. this this may this might happen again. That's not the best feeling, you know. But you in the basketball? Sorry. What's your favorite sport? Soccer, basketball. Favorite, basketball, basketball. You I'm miss a six every. You miss every I'm single. Six you miss every single shot that you don't take. So what you do is you take the situation that happened last time, you learn what you need to learn, 
and you move forward with it, learning into the because what people do is like you go what you're gonna do is if you hide from what happened last time, you're gonna hide yourself from next time. So let's say the next chick ain't the right chick, or the next chick after that ain't the right chick, but then you come across the right chick because you all weirded out about the girl that was wrong or the girls that was wrong. Now you're not handling the right chick like the right chick. But the the heartbreaks are but heartbreaks are serious, man. You know, we have some serious consequences. You know, I feel depressed. You know, you talking to bro. You talking. You talking to listen. After, yeah. I've had bro. I know what you. I know it. Like you're not the like. People take life so personal. You know what I mean? You taking it so personal. You take everybody. Everybody's heart's been broke. I've had my heart broke. Like I'm not the coolest nigga in the world. I'm not the finest. I ain't got the. I ain't got the most money in the world. You bro, listen. My old head. Yeah, we, we, all told have me, we all have. You ain't gonna have the most money in the world. You ain't gonna have the biggest dick in the world, bro. Get over it. You find somebody that likes you for you, champ. Like, yeah, like, we all it's, have it's such thing that. is called enough. Is a such thing is called enough. You can be enough for somebody. Now, whether that somebody is today or whether that somebody is eight years from now. You you could be enough for somebody. You should just be worrying about when you meet that somebody having being enough. Being I mean that's it. Practice. Unless you're 21, bro. Practice. It's all practice until you meet somebody that you have to be enough for. Then you pull out all your tricks. <clears throat> Add that red I flag ask, to your I ask red something. flags. I want to ask something. Come on. How do you know? That she's the one. How do you actually know that she's the one? This is the easy. Yo, you want to know is from my. This is from my say. Right, and, and from your situation, right? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you this, right? We from see, we from two different countries, so the way of living is kind of different. Yeah. But I'm gonna just speak from what I from what I feel. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's way more than a feeling than it is a thing. All the movies try to make it like a thing. Like, if she do this one thing, if she do this, it's a feeling. And I'm not saying, like, everybody could do you wrong. Every Everybody can do you wrong. Like, that's life. But what people fail to realize is that, like, you know how in school, right, people forget in school, everybody starts with an A. You got to lose it. The whole class has an A+. plus. You have to lose it. You get what I'm saying? Like, so so you don't, like, if you got an F in class, it's your fault, or D is your fault, because you started with an A. So you give everybody the fair, equal chance, whoever you choose. You get judgment of character. You give everybody a fair, equal chance until you lose it. You look up, and somebody still has an A+. plus. That looks like an honor student. You get what I'm saying? Like, now you got these red flags that you're talking about that you saw, right? So let's say you're dealing with her for a year or two years. Her grade should have been changing as you guys' career, as you guys' relationship was going. You get what I'm saying? Are you follow me? Um, actually, I'm new here at your at your account. Okay, so let, let's start from scratch. Like in school, when you're in school, right? Yeah. Everybody in the class has an A plus when the when the year starts, right? Everybody, their got, grade is. I got that one. I got that one. Right. I got that one. Yeah. So now we talking about red flags, right? Red flags. Now let's treat red flags like tests. Every time you saw a red flag, her grade should have changed. Oh. Right? I got it. I got it. I got it. Right? Because cause the first thing you said to me was you saw red flags. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nothing wrong with that because we two different people. Sometimes it's going to be red flags. We could talk about those, but every time you see a red flag, it okay, she's at an A plus right now, <clears throat> but she did something that made me feel a little ah. Uh, she might just be at an A now or a B now. By the time this happens to you, to where she goes somewhere else, you should have knew it already. By the time she left you, she should have been a D minus bitch anyway. You saw all the red flags. It shouldn't hurt that much. I got You're that. not great in her as your, as a grading system. 
It's a great I did, system. I, Everybody. I, I ignored it. <clears throat> I ignored it, and I faced the consequences. I knew. I, I, you know, I had that feeling in the back of my head. I, I was like, maybe you know, there's something wrong. Maybe there's something that I should be knowing. You know, uh, when I when I get to know about where she's going with him, you know, from my friends and friends. Your stomach don't. Your stomach don't lie, bro. Like, your your stomach don't lie. Your stomach, your stomach don't lie. A lot of people lie to you. Your stomach don't lie. Yeah. Your stomach don't lie. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not. You'll know when somebody's invested into you. You could tell. Yes, sir. You could tell. You, you, you know when, like, like, um, for example, like, the reason I know what it's like to deal with a woman that, like, pray for me and, and care, because I've been with one before. You gotta be with you gotta be with a good one to know what it ain't shit when it's like. You gotta know what it ain't shit when it's like. Them red flags is gonna help you with the chick that don't got those. You gonna, it's polar opposites. You need yeah. to deal with ain't shit chicks. That's how you know what the good ones is like. So you kind of had to go. How the fuck you gonna know what the next one like if you ain't got nothing to compare it to? How you know it's hot outside if it was never cold? You have yeah. to have dealt with fuck ups for the good shit to even feel good. <clears throat> it's just a bad memory, you know. Just forget about it. It's, it's just a, it's a, just a bad mem memory of better not life. forget about it. And I just like learn the lessons and move move on. Right, right, right. You don't forget it. You never. You don't on. forget it. You don't, that's the lesson. You don't forget it. You tattoo it. You mentally tattoo it on your arm so that the next time another chick come through, it's sitting right there on your arm. Watch out for the chick that got friends that she say not friends. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You'll be all right, though, all right? Give me some that. Now give me some fin. Now give me some noggin. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's my dog, dude. We out of here, all right, my nigga. Yeah. You ain't never see Finding Nemo. Y'all ain't y'all know what that is. See niggas gonna say pause, pause, pause. Niggas ain't never seen Finding Nemo. Y'all kids. You ain't never seen Finding Nemo. You don't know what it is. You miss me with the pause. Give me some fin. Now give me some noggin, dude. That's the. Grab that other weed for me. Y'all ain't never seen Finding Nemo. Y'all don't know what it is. That's why y'all niggas ain't got no fans, because y'all don't know how to connect with fans. My boy in India going through real fucking problems. He going through real shit. He going through real shit. It ain't shit just going on in Brooklyn, in the Bronx. It ain't shit just going on in, in, in Detroit. It ain't shit just going on in in in, in Texas. You know what I'm saying? It's niggas, it's niggas getting, it's bitches playing in India too. Oh, he needed a conversation, and some, and the powers that be told me that I needed to tell him that. You get what I'm saying? I hope that I hope that he took it a little, you know what I mean? I hope that he took it and, and, and understood what I was saying. Genuinely, though. For real, man. I'll just repeat that to y'all, for y'all that don't understand. Everybody starts with an A+. Plus. Like, like, you don't got no time to not trust nobody. That's kind of crazy. Like, imagine somebody in your living room, right? And you talking to your man or your chick like, Oh yeah, nah, it's this dude in my living room. I mean, it's this dude I kick it with and shit. He hanging out and now nah, I don't trust him yet, but eventually I'm trying to get to know him. He's too close. That's too short to shit. That's why if you're gonna deal with somebody on a level, you might as well treat them like you started with an A plus. No, you you have all the respect until you lose it. You have all the trust until you lose it. You're not a liar until you're a liar. You start with an A. Relationships and it's not jail. You're guilt it's not guilty until proven innocent. Like, no, you're innocent. You're I mean, damn, bro. I got you, though. Don't worry about it. I got you, though. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You feel me? 
Don't worry about it. I got you. We're going to be all right. Listen, as long as we got each other, <laughs> we're going to be all right. You feel me? As long as a nigga like me running around here, y'all going to be all right. I don't care if you my boy in India. You feel me? Listen. Profit helps out everywhere, man. You get what I'm saying? Let me see, man. Let me see if I can help a soul out of two more while I'm in here, man. Let me see. I got space for male, females, man. Let me see. Hey. Salam. Alaikum salam. Come on. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> Can you speak Persian? Nah, I'm not Persian. Damn, you from Persia? Persian. Farsi. No, speak Farsi. No. I got. I. I'm about to go get my translator. I'll be right back. Give me one minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Stay. 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 Do anybody speak what she just spoke? I'm going to pull you up with her. Hold on. I got a lot of fans, and I can't. I, I'm not that bilingual. I got a little bit of Spanish. I got a little bit of French in me. Do any of my fans speak what she was speaking? Somebody speak up now. I need a translator. We're going to bring her back. My fan base is a little, like, beyond my language. Um, beyond my language barriers. I, I couldn't, I, I, was that Persian? What was that? Persian? <laughs> nah, she was just to stay. She there still. My fan base getting a little big. Hold up. I'm just trying to help people out with life problems. They got me all the way in Persia. Boy, fan base getting huge. Thank you. Hey, one of these days, I'm going to drop the whistle. Not yet, because I'm still shopping. But I'm going to drop the website for this paint, the where I got this painting from, so y'all can stop asking about me. You speak it, I pull up. I speak it. If you don't, pull, if you don't speak it, I'm going to block you for lying to me, because I don't like liars. So don't be playing with me. Don't be playing with me, boy. Don't be playing. We try to have a normal conversation. She speaks Farsi. What's that? Nah, I don't well, like, speak. What language is that? She speaks. She was speaking Farsi, but I don't speak it. Oh, I should speak Farsi? Yeah. I, I appreciate but, that, bro. We trying to I need, I need some healing. I need, I need some healing, sir. I respect your honesty, brother. Hold on one second. <laughs> Talk to me. Yo, man. I got these two babies, man. I got two children, bro. Right. And I'm trying. I'm trying to make it work with with their mother. And I know that you know, kids should never be the reason you stay in a relationship. Right. But like, I can't let my babies go, bro. So we got one mother, two yeah. kids. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. The mother is not a mother that we would want to. The mother is not. We're not fond of the mother. Let's just say that for be, for better sake, right? We're not too fond of the mother. 
but we want we wanted to work with kids. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very simple answer. What's your name? I'm Josh. Nice to meet you, Josh. Um, I, I in this situation specifically, I'm not saying for everybody in this situation, right? And you don't have one child, you have one, you have two. You feel me? I grew up in a nine. I grew up in a nine. Like my parents didn't grow up together. If I was you, I think you're smart enough and a mature enough man to make that work for the kids. The, the, the child's future is more important than if it's not, if that house is not in flames. Yeah. And it's not, you, you get what I'm saying? If that house is not in flames and it's not toxic and the, and, and the child is not, and them children aren't growing up in front of violence and, and, and I think that they should grow up in a two parent home. Make the sacrifice. You it, it, Exactly. And with you, with, I'm glad that you said the word for me because that's the exact word. The word is sacrifice in this situation. What a lot of parents and what a lot of adults aren't willing to do is make the sacrifice mm -hmm. to be who they have to be for the kids, not for them. Like, you get what I'm saying? Right. Because it's, it's about it's about who you got to be for you. But once you once you add in the kids, now it's not about who you got to be for you, but it's who you got to be for them too. It's a struggle though, you know. It's an internal battle because it's an internal yeah. battle because yeah, because Thursday nights get popping and then Friday nights get popping. You, you know, I gotta. I'm tired. I don't want to go pick up. It's a sack, but that's you said the word. It's a sacrifice. Yeah, you got to make the I'm sacrifice just... for them two kids growing up. Once you made the decision to have the two kids, now I have to sacrifice. You know what I mean? And Again, unless it's violence and toxics and, and and things that's going on that that a child shouldn't see, you should be trying to figure out how to make like all of us ain't get a house, bro. Like that's you can't yeah. play with one of those. I don't know. And about that's it. another thing. And that's another thing. Like I ain't grow up, bro. I didn't grow up with my mother. My mother, like I was listening to you. You said you grew up with your mom. You said like you know you you different because you was raised by women. My mom passed away when I was three years old. I'm sorry to hear. You, get, you know what I'm saying? So, so I grew up in different, in different situations. You know what I mean? Because of that, so it should be nothing to talk about, bro. Sacrifice. It, it's like you, like at some point, you know, like they talk about the cycle chain shit. You feel me? I ain't gonna act hey, like hey, the generational curse breakers. All that extra shit. You feel me? Like, cause I'm not gonna act like I'm some super prophet type of guy. But you get what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Like seriously, like that sacrifice, my nigga. Come on. Mm -hmm. These your kids? Yo, I, yeah, absolutely, my kids, man. I appreciate you taking it, taking your time, bro. Like I'm a listen because to talk about. If you may have yeah. a good day. Uh you too, King. Yeah, that's a no brainer. Some shit is childish. Like a nigga end up leaving it like like the, the arguments don't even be like Y'all got two separate households cause y'all can't figure out who like what kind of the flavor Dorito like cause y'all arguing over who gonna clean what and who gonna have what chores and how nah, bro. Come on, bro. Like that's 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 yeah. That's bad. You gotta make some sacrifice. Yo, growing up in two households is ass. I'm gonna keep it all the way one hundred with you. Growing up in two households is ass. Keep it tall with you. For a child, though. For a child, I'm not speaking for a child. Growing up into a household's got to be ass. Got to be ass. My doctor makes stuffing toys over here, but my cocoa melon over here. But I kind of wanted to play with both at the same time. My sneakers over here, my orange ones that will match my or my orange jacket at daddy house, but my orange sneakers at mommy house. But daddy don't want to take me to. It got to be ass for a kid. Like, got to be ass for a kid. Like. Mommy keep the gushes that I like. Daddy won't let me eat candy. Like, come on, like that. I, I, uh, <laughs> I know life for a kid is ass between houses. Like y'all niggas need to make. We gotta make some sac sacrifices, gang. <laughs> you gotta make some sacrifices, gang. Like, come on, and y'all been through it before. Nah, I definitely depend on the relationships of the parents, but even then. Even then, like, don't let nobody cap you. Don't let nobody cap you. You can have the best relationship in the world with the kids. Oh, yeah, nah. My mama, my daddy, and my step-parents take me to the park. Like, <laughs> it's not normal. That's not normal. 
you got the best relationship in the world. Waking up to your mother and your father in the same house, mommy cooking, your daddy throwing you up in the air and shit while breakfast gets nothing like it. Nothing like it. You're not going to sit here and cap and act like it is. But like, I mean, you could love it. You feel me? But every situation ain't not deal. Every situation ain't not deal. One of the situations good. The step, the, the other one, the other parent who mad, they they make the situation bad. They they put the energy on the kid and shit. And yeah, nah, hell no, hell no. Know how that shit go. Stepmother over there treating your child like like she ain't a part of. The, yeah, man, get that shit out of here, man. Take care of them kids, man. Never promote and lead the family. That's just not the answer. Let me see. There's a lot of requests in here. If y'all ain't got no questions, man. If y'all ain't got no questions. Hey, sir. How you doing? What's going on? How you doing? What's your name? I'm Kim. Hey, Kim. My mama named Kim. What's up, Kim? How you doing? So check it out. I agree, but then I disagree with you, okay? So let me tell you why I disagree. I disagree because, you know, I have stepkids, right? And my stepdaughter will come over and, you know, she'll see me kissing on my kids. And she'll come and she'll say, you know, well, my mom doesn't kiss me at home. Or, you know, my mom is not the affectionate type. You know, so she gets that affection and that love from me. You see what I'm saying? So I kind of disagree with the the two households is terrible because over here she loves it. She hates to go home. Okay, so now okay, so now here you go. See, see, this is I like this. Now here we go. So now, right? You proving my point. Mm -hmm. Because well, it's two split houses, right? Mm -hmm. One house she likes to be at, one house she doesn't. True. That's my point exactly. Okay, one, I thought you were saying for the mom and the dad to just... No, I'm saying okay. one, it, it, a child should be in one happy household. More than likely, it should be the parents. But that love that you give it, even if the love that you're giving is not coming from, that's the type of love that's supposed to be in that parent household. But the fact that it's two split houses is what's fucking with the child's head. That's the problem in the child. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Like when things like that start splitting up and shit now, she go to step, she go to y'all house and she get to stay up late and she get to do this and you telling her things and you making points and you, you know what I mean? And you asking her stuff and she learning things from you. She like to go out, you get her nails done. Then she go to the other house and it's not there. You know how much confusion True. you building in the child's life? Okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying now. Okay, you know what I mean? Like, that, like, yeah. So, so that's what I'm telling him. I said, listen, if that house is not, could you what this? If the, if that house is not hell and hot water and violence, y'all make that y'all make that house work for that kid automatically. Because mm -hmm. all of us know what it's like to grow up and not be in a happy, comfortable, I wake up every day situation. Like breakfast made, everybody smiling, we eating at the table together. That's the way it's supposed to be. Right. And we getting so far removed from that. So if he has a chance to fix that. He should. That's all. Okay. Yeah, I guess. You have right. a good day, gorgeous. You too. See. Okay, you. I just for me, I see you shit. <laughs> I see you shit, shit. That's the toothbrush or the or the uh, gorilla glue. I see you, girl. She dropped the gorilla glue on them damn things. Yeah, mate. Don't y'all come in here with my point to make a point with my point. It's what I do. Let me see. Damn, it's about 150 in y'all. Everybody got problems? She quick. Please at least speak my language. I don't speak Farsi. Don't speak Farsi. I don't speak. I am currently looking for a translator that want to work for me when I'm on live. Currently looking. Yo. I just want to say, my fault that my 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 shit acted up or whatever. But yo, you give us good positive vibes, man. I I fuck with it, bro. You feel me? And the chat is doing real good. You feel me? They not saying nothing crazy. I fuck with it. Like this is some. Positive
positive energy for me the more and shit like that. I appreciate what you're doing, bro. Good luck, good luck, good luck, bro. Good luck, you heard? Take care. Yeah, it's the Wi-Fi for me. I guess the Wi-Fi for me, man. Wi-Fi for me, yo. Hot spot. Spot not hot. I don't know what that was. Boy, I don't know what that was. If somebody got problems, I need people with problems, man. I don't, that's, that's it, man. We need life problems only, man. Life problems only, man. I don't need no flowers, man. I don't need no flowers, all right? Yo. Sean Lego, my brother. Slaker Salon, how you doing, brody? I'm chill. How you doing? I'm good, bro. Dude, not for now, I'm going to get straight to it. I've been a fan since the beginning, bro. I've been watching on your URLs. I want to say keep doing your thing, you hear me? Appreciate that. Thank you, sir. More so into it, you feel me? I'm also of an old head, 24, to my young niggas. So right. I don't know about you today because I got a young you feel me? I need some mentors. I don't know if you ever got time. I know you're a busy man. Tagging them all day. I was just like, know that. You got time to check that page and fuck with them, bro, if you can. DM it to me. I got you. I got you. Let me see a page. Kato Bands. Yeah, DM it to me. I got you. Eight out Benz, you heard? I got you. I got you. Go love. Thank you, thank you, Nidio. I just be, you know. My son, see, that's why I'm, I like my son Nubby. My son Nubby pulled up with real shit going on. You niggas pull up talking about. Yeah. What's going on? What's up? How you doing? I'm straight. How you doing? You good? You look fried. Huh? You look fried right now. You so I look good. Thank you. I appreciate that. I said fried. You talk about fried. Oh, fried. I'm my fault. Look, I'm thinking you said I'm I'm fried. So I'm eating um, honey bun. Word. Smoking weed. Where you, where you at? I'm in, I'm I'm at work. I'm on break. Where where you located? Jersey. What? Jersey. What you you smoking on break or that's hookah? I'd about to say. It's a pen. No, I would never. Not at this office. Oh why? Oh why? I'm high as hell. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was fine. I'm high. I'm sorry. I'm just smoking weed all day. Uh, why y'all? see your nails. Them nails look alright. Thank you. Yeah, those those. Oh yeah! Shout out to the grip makers. <laughs> grip. Yeah, those hard. <laughs> yeah, they gonna go great. Never you touch yeah. the grip. Huh? Been supposed to smoke. Some coke, bro. Bro, I, I be in and out of New. I be in and out of. I really be in and out of New Jersey. That's all. I know. I already know. Ducking and ducking. Be in and out of New Jersey, trying to duck the feds, gang. Trying to stay away from the, you know. Trying to stay away from the you know who and the you know what's. But I do owe you one though. I ain't got you. I, I got you. I don't know. That's my word. You ain't got nothing. You got your, you ain't got nothing you got your word, so don't go That's all I got is my word, exactly. Yeah. I got you. But, uh, Have a good day. Drink your water. Eight cups of water. Eight. How many cups of water you drunk today? Okay. Well, why is y'all dick riding? Y'all pissing me off. I'm not to get off here. You heard? I don't like people. They just blew my shit. Look at you, mad at the live. Look at you, mad at the live, little creepy. Yeah, I know that wasn't no random fan, right? Like no random person, right? Look at y'all, mad. Y'all be dispelling. Y'all be, no matter who come up here, 
Y'all be disrespectful. Family, aunts. Get your phone, Mango. Y'all can hear my shit or it's muted. Yeah, y'all smoke, try to smoke her boots. Y'all still get me? Nigga said, can I rep 60s in Australia? Oh, I fail. Only questions, bro. Only questions, bro. Why I gotta get off live, man? What I do? Hey, yo, nah, for real, sir? What's up, champ? Ho, ho. It was pop. Yo, it was good, cuz. I'm chilling. How you doing? Hey, yo, listen. First and foremost, it's a blessing. I ain't going on with you, cuz. Like, it's genuinely a blessing for, on some battle rap shit. And I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to just, you know what I'm going to just leave it at that. But anyways, boom. I got a big problem. It's a baby mama drama type shit. And I'm laid up with my son right now, too, you feel me? But I just don't understand, like, a woman, like, you can't, a woman can't get pregnant without a man, correct? True. So why do you feel like you're obligated to do this, do that, because you carried him for nine months? It could have been me. It could have been Joe. It could have been Darren. It could have been, you feel me? Why do you feel I'm like you're obligated? Say that again. No, 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 no. Let's backtrack for a sec. See, I'm the devil's advocate. I'm always gonna have. I'm gonna. I do everything. I see everything from a female perspective. I was raised by women. I need okay. you to start this this conversation over with me. First off, what's going on? What's the problem? All right. Well, the problem is she lost custody in a woman's state. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So. She just feels like everything is my fault when she's the one that calls them people to be in our business. Oh, so she called, so she's the reason the people in your business. Yeah. And, and then custody to the kids. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, in the beginning, it's called the fifty. It's called the fifty one A. So it's in the beginning, the uh uh uh, uh the people feel like we both. You know what I'm saying we both got our cus got our uh, got our rights taken away. Oh. I did my shit. I did my therapy. I did my anger management. Boom! I did what I had to do. Got your rights back. So you got your rights back to the kids. I got my shit. I'm laid up with my junior right now. You feel me? So, so what's the problem here? The problem is because she didn't get her rights. She thinks it's me. Like I'm, I'm controlling. I'm painting bad narratives. I'm doing this, doing that. She think it's me. I'm well, like, yo, like. Well, as long as you're not genuinely painting bad narratives. And I would never, I would never, like, I would never, like, what kind of person, what kind of man, first and foremost, would I be to not want my son to be around his mother? Yeah, about to say, that's rule one. Rule one in the baby mother handbook, rule one in the baby mother handbook is you never talk bad about your baby mother to nobody. I don't care how bad of a female she is. No cap. No cap, no cap. So, so, which, I mean, how do I, how do I go, how do I go about this? Like, I can't. Have a simple conversation with conversation I, with her. But I, I, you do you do what's best possible to help him see his mother. Also, that's not a girl. That's a boy, and it's your son. You feel me? And if you if you love your son as much as you say you love your son, then you will be doing everything in your possible power. Again, if y'all don't if y'all don't hate each other, and I think even if y'all did hate each other, I'm gonna keep it hundred. As long as she's not physically harming your child, you should be doing whatever you gotta do to help her get her part back. Cause y'all both y'all both lost rights, so you you both y'all know what it's feel like to not have custody of your child. So as a man, you should be doing what you're supposed to do to help her get her part back. If she's not a physical harm to her son, because a child is a father's needed just as much as a mother. 
All right, all right. Job. That's what. That's your job in this situation. Okay, okay, okay. So, and now, I, like you, you, you've heard the term "bigger person." You've heard the term "the adult who has to be the biggest, bigger person in the situation." So maybe you got to put put on your big boy shoes and send a text message first or that conversation first and say, "Hey, yo, look, what's up? What do we got to do to get your custody back? Or let's see what we got to do to make sure you can get your part of it back." All right, now hold on. Now, with that being said, I have to be the devil, the devil's advocate because it makes sense in this situation. Now, you, you you talk about being a bigger person. I'm all for that. I'm all for that. No cap. But how how much how much shit talking and and bad and just uh, uh, degrading of my character, degrading of my father, of my parenting. How much of this bullshit can I take before I say, you know what, I don't give a fuck. You deal with it on your own. You feel me? Do what you got to do as a woman. And then now you're adding in more parts. Now you're adding in more parts to the story for me. I mean, that's totally up to you. It's up to your discretion. You can't tell somebody how to feel. You get what I'm saying? But you take as much as you can that you feel like little man is worth. You know how many people, bro, Jesus, they threw rocks at him, bro, and tied him up and stabbed nails in his hand. In his hand. He still got his objective done. <laughs> you know what I mean? You you take as much as you could take. If it's about your son being able to see his mother too, you take as much as you could take. I mean, I think I, you ask me. I think your son, like how your son grow up, is you grown already. How your son grow up is more important than than how you grow up because you grown already. So I think you should do your part. Fuck that bitch. I'm doing this for him. But that's just me though, and I genuinely hope y'all can figure that out because I feel like he should be able to kick it with both of y'all. Much respect, sir. If I take that all in, all in good love, brother. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. That's just my opinion. No, man, that's just my opinion. Feel me? That's a good question. See, I could do that. I, don't, I could do that. Like, don't pull up here, the man. I don't know what y'all be wanting to talk about. Yeah, nah. You know my cousin, my cousin Maurice from, from he he said he is locked up with you. You know what I mean? And, and he wanted to know if um, you know what I mean? Nah, I just wanted to rap for you. And I got like ten, fifteen more minutes, bro. I don't care if we was down to Dell together, bro. Yo. See, you I good, family? Me. Yeah, you good, bro? Okay, I'm trying to make sure I can hear you and stuff. All right, what's up? Talk oh, to me. Oh, got you. All right, yo, so I just had a quick question, bro. So, like, I've been asking a lot of people this, like, people that's willing to answer. It's really like a three-parter, but I'm going to make it fast. I know a lot of people trying to get in here. So, like, part one is, like, if you could give any kind of life advice to somebody, like one person or, like, one piece of advice, like, say to your younger self or just to anybody, what would you tell them? Like, if you could give them one piece of advice, like, just one. Like, just to get where they try to go, get where they want do what they want to do, like, what would be the one piece of advice? 20, if I could, if I'm going to myself, 20-year-old 20 surf is more important than 19-year-old surf. Remember that. Mm. Okay, bet. So here's this here's the second part, if you don't mind. So I've been asking people. So that's the first part. So that's the advice. Now, playing devil's advocate, what do you think would be the biggest obstacle in somebody acting out that advice you just gave? So like if you talk to your younger self and you gave them that advice, what do you think would be the first thing that pop up in their mind that would stop them from receiving that? My nineteen year old self would never about today. He would say he would say, why would I care about my 28-year-old self when I'm living today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day? He would naturally, my 19-year-old self would care about what's going on in that 10-year gap instead of listening to me at 28. Mm -hmm. No, I mean? for sure, for sure. Yeah, so then just the last part, so what would you say to him in response to that? Knowing that, of course, he probably going to be 
I mean, I'm 26. I know when I was 16, I'm not as old as you, but like, I can imagine that like you, you caught up in right now. So like, what would you say to him to kind of just tweak his mindset a little bit? It might not register till later, I, but what would you I say? Would say? I know this is weird, but I'm you. And a lot of decisions <laughs> that you're, I know this is weird, but I'm you. And a lot of decisions that you're going to make from where you at now to where I am right now is going to affect what we're trying to do when we're 35. So chill out on mm. the decision making and some of the things, because I've been shot, I've been locked up for attempted murder. Oh, this all within the time we're talking. I've been shot, I've been locked yeah. up for attempted murder. I've fucked women I didn't have to fuck. I've, you know what I mean, done things I didn't have to do, you know? So um, chill out on the decision making because 28 year old me is trying to get somewhere for 35 year old us. So cool it a little bit, and I promise we'll be all right. Respect, bro. Shit, that was it, bro. I appreciate that, bro. I'm all the way out here in China, bro. But I've been fucking with what you've been doing. Like, respect, bro. I appreciate you letting me tap in here. Uh, I appreciate it. That's fire. For sure, guys. Great question. That's a great question. That's a great question. Y'all was on his bumper. That's a great question. That's a great, that question was immaculate. That was a great question. That boy was at a time machine. That boy was in 1951. That question was immaculate. Yeah, that was a good joint. I ain't gonna lie. He said he was in China right now. We don't know what he's doing. That boy could be on a Navy ship, an Army ship, whatever. I mean, I know y'all used to only being on live with 14 motherfuckers, and it's just a couple niggas around the block, and Malik from down the hill, and you know I mean, and Terrell from up the block. But, you know, we got a lot of shit going on. I mean, there's a lot of fans out here that's just not around the corner. I'm sorry. Next question. Please. Hey, y'all be ready to smoke my nigga questions in they boots. And he black and he in China. He probably. Yeah. What's up, boy? That's what they want. Be quiet. Up, my boy, that's a blue. Yeah. What you say? What, what, what's up? What you doing? Yeah, I'm so mess with it. All right, what's going on? Yeah, you <laughs> You see what I mean? Give me the nigga in China. That's what I mean. Give me the smart black nigga in China. You get what I'm saying? You see? You see? You see? I appreciate the smart black nigga in China. That's that's what I that's the that's what I be talking about right there. Cause the nigga and motherfucking the nigga and motherfucking Cause the nigga in the projects won't be cool with his hat and shit. Like <laughs> The fuck he want to show his Sixers hat and shit like. Yeah, I niggas be crazy, bro. Side already. Let's go. Talk to me. Well, look, I ain't mad with, I ain't gonna even sit here and walk away from her because I, I fuck with her and I wanted to hit her, you feel me? Right. I be putting on game box and shit, you dig? But it's like, me and Charlotte, I've been fucking with her for like damn near going on a year. This your girl or this just something you fucking? This this my girl, like my old I... lady. We locked in, like, she was with her people, you feel me? And it was like, 
I was peeping a lot of shit. Like, we've been through a lot of shit. I basically got out of, like, her mama house and shit. You feel right. me? Go on game. Like, we moved in our own shit. Like, we've been in here probably, like, two, three months now. But we've been fucking with each other for, like, a year. And it's, like, I just been on some shit more so, like, I really been wanting her to, like, not necessarily, like, be under me. You feel me? Right. Cause it's like I enjoy like I don't like no busy body because I ain't no busy body. You feel right. me? I'm just working home. Like I go fuck with my people, pass on my mama and shit. You feel me? Like right. I ain't really no busy body. I don't really care. So for, you uh, own body, nigga. Yeah. Right. So like, and she she the same way, but it's like I've been telling her like, uh, I really want her to like try and get out a little more. Instead of being under me, like, cause I don't, we fall out two, three, five, ten years from now. I don't want you to be like, you just been under me all your life. You feel it, me? Like, I still, I still she, want you to enjoy she yourself. She don't like, so she don't like to go out. Yeah, not like that. You gotta, you can't, then, then you can't force, if you gonna, if you gonna tell her she gotta go out, you gotta go out with her. You gotta show her that our, our, our. Like you, cause you said you a homebody too. You can't if me and my girl are homebody. You can't just tell her, "Yo, go out, go do something." At least you, uh -huh. you know what I mean. You 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 take the lead and say, 